Oh, this is too heavy for the world to handle. Right, what <laughs> errors he made there, Steve? <laughs> what physical, scientific error has he made there with that question? I can't, I can't begin to explain it. Carl, we're not getting the rocks from other planets. It's already here. It's like having a, a it's like having, um, a big pile of books in a room, and then moving them over to the other side of the room and building a thing going, oh, can the room take it? I'm building a lot of things out of these books. What about, what about plastic? Where's that come from? Other chemicals that existed on the planet. Yeah. Do you see, do, do you see the point? Hang on a minute, though. What about a little tree? You plant that as an acorn, it grows, Rick. That's bigger, that's more stuff. Yeah. Don't listen to him, Carl. He's patronising you. What about you. acorns and that, though? Right. They they take they grow from minerals and proteins already in our atmosphere or in our um, the mass of Earth. What about a cat, Carl? Right. You get it. It's a very tiny kitten, but it grows up and it's bigger. Carl, he's tr he's doing it on purpose. Elephants. 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 They they're very small to begin with, but they get bigger and bigger and bigger, and so they get heavier and heavier. Mind you, dinosaurs have gone. You know, but. You <laughs> But you know, um, but you know that's, uh. you know famously that's how Atlantis disappeared. You know, you've heard of the, the legend of Atlantis. Have you heard of the legend of Atlantis? I think so. Go this on. was a, this was a city that existed, it's proven, yeah. right? And what happened was they just kept buying stuff in, mail order. They just <laughs> kept ordering stuff, like the king and stuff, just kept ordering stuff in, mail order. He brought girls across, carpets, you know, carpets, lot of carpets. Carpets he kept buying, TV set, big screen TVs and stuff like that, and eventually... He bought up all the mirror. That the wise men didn't want. Yeah, he just, cause he's from like olden times, and he just kept buying stuff, crazy, like he was just a shopaholic basically. Mentor it was. And he was ludicrous, it was like, and, and in and the end it heavy. just sunk, it just sunk. Too heavy. And it just sunk. So, um, um, to the earth, the more planes we build, the more trees we let grow. Yeah. From acorns. And more than that, what about all the, uh, the people who are overeating? There's only, there's a, yeah, I, there's only yeah, one thing to do. in this world. I think we, we've got, a, I think we've got to kill off endangered species and burn trees. <laughs> That's the only way the earth <laughs> can survive. <laughs> you mental. <laughs> Carl, can uh, I have a Jaffa cake? Because I've just found a lump. <laughs> <laughs> I think you Thank don't you. mean me, do you? No, 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 no. All right, no. good. Thanks. Um, Steve. Now mm. we interviewed Carl there. We've, I think we've learnt a little bit more about Carl there. We did, yeah. Um, and uh, I'm going to interview Steve now, um, Carl, right. because I used to be you concentrating. Mm. Don't put it all in at once. Carl, chew, chew before you swallow. Careful. Um, all right. Um, I used to suffer with that a lot. What? Not chewing. The amount of times I nearly died as a kid. What? <coughs> Forgetting to chew? Choking. Sure. Mint Imperials. Mm. My, mum, my mum stopped typing. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking them with water. <laughs> she have to hide them. Oh. <laughs> he's coming out of his shower, isn't he? He's yeah. happy Saturdays. He's miserable all week and he's happy Saturdays, isn't he? Oh, look at him. It's <laughs> like we get him weekends. Yeah, yeah. And he's just happy because we sort of spoil him, don't we? And he has Jaffa <laughs> cakes and everything. We let him but on he has the radio. And go and live with his stepmom again, don't we? <laughs> Oh no! The only ones who listen. Oh, what do you say? really? Yeah. Your girlfriend does, doesn't she? I imagine she's been away for ages. I know. I imagine she just switches off after a while. But you know, you know, we, you know, we love you, don't you? you know, we're excited. We talk about you in the week, and we, you know, we think you're great. So don't just think we're using you as a cheap a... comedy material. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you to think that. Carl. <laughs> anyway. We've just had uh, a couple of um, people, Sarah and Claire, call up and wish us luck for the Baftas, but for <laughs> some reason. They want one of us to do an impression of Leslie Phillips. Can't do I, it. I can't. I, 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 it I doesn't mean, he say ding dong? And hello, and all that. That's not bad. But, That's but nice. I want, I want Carl to do it though. Yeah, go on Carl. Go on. Hello. <laughs> well done. Say ding dong. <laughs> ding dong. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Do we do any other impressions? Um. No. <laughs> I, I can't go. Think of hello. Do that. Hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you look like a ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> hello. Yeah, but... Brilliant. <laughs> Oh God! Do uh, my name is Bond, James Bond, as uh, as though it were Sean my Connery. My name's Bond, James Bond. Do that. Go on. My name's Bond. No, do it as though you were in doing an impression. Sean. I'm what? So I'm trying to be Scottish. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, sort of. Perhaps a bit more specific than that. Sean Connery. <laughs> my name's Bond. <laughs> not Keep going. Not... My name's Bond, James Bond. <laughs> Thank Jimmy Stewart. It's not bad. This is this is the best fun. It's like yeah. having your very own Fisher Price toy for yeah, two exactly. hours a week. It's exactly. great. Um, do, um, uh, uh, Roger Moore. Do that. Uh. Roger Moore. <laughs> <laughs> Phyllis Pierce! Percy Sugden! <laughs> I'm bum licensed to kill! Uh, that... Anyway, she just said- uh, No, this is a great no, game. No, no, yeah, no, we'll, we'll come it, back to this another time. Yeah, maybe. anything- <laughs> anything you want Carl to do. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just- I, I stayed up and watched, um, 
There was a thing on about Dracula. <laughs> right. <laughs> what, Dracula? And I found a flaw in it. Go on. Uh, not- not the fact that he's the living dead and he's- No. Nope. drinks blood to stay alive and he doesn't reflect and he can in mirrors. Well, and you can- go on. The mirror thing, you can't look in mirrors. Can he? Well, he can look in mirrors but he can't see himself in a mirror. Yeah. Right, well, it still doesn't work. Go okay, on. go on. It doesn't work at all, Carl. It doesn't work at all. Well, centre parting's always really neat. His centre parting's always really <laughs> How neat. How does he do it if he can't look in the mirror? <laughs> Blood on the floor or something it was called. Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I love the floor in the Dracula film is that his centre part is too neat. How did he do it without a mirror? Oh. Was it a documentary about Dracula? No, yeah. it was- The it's, real Dracula. The real Dracula. <laughs> yeah, the real yeah. Dracula. The it's just a film. It had blood on the floor or something it was called. Yeah. It's rubbish. Yeah. From 1970. Yeah. Right. But you, you say that and watch that. You know there aren't yeah, really vampires that, in that yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah, but it still annoys you that his centre part was too neat. Well, if you're gonna do it, do you know what I mean? I'd like to see him with a fringe, sort of pushed forward, mm. and maybe a hood up, alright? Come to suck your blood and that, alright? Uh, yeah, just bits of tissue paper all over his face yeah. where oh, he's cut himself oh, shaving. Oh, I can't see. Bloody mirror is annoying me, alright? <laughs> I'd love to see that. A little mank drac. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Well, that, that might be a film that we do in uh, our movie. Mancula. Just, just getting onto that. Mancula. Count Mankula. <laughs> Alright. You got any rave? You got any rave music? Huh? Uh? Got any oasis or that? Uh? That'd be brilliant. <laughs> he came from Manchester. Please welcome Mankula. Alright. That'd be great, wouldn't it? His hair's a mess. Well, I can't see a mirror, can I? <laughs> Missy Elliot on XFM 104.9, Orchid Gervais with me, Steve and Carl. Mm. Carl, why have you got a headache? You got a headache? Just a bit stressful because the moves moves on this uh, this week. Oh, you're yeah. with your Oh, by the way, uh, the XFM listeners came round to my house and bought the uh, feet on the table. Did they? Were quite they happy normal, with it? Quite normal. They were well happy. Yeah. Couldn't believe the luck with it. What do you mean quite normal? What do you mean quite normal? <laughs> well, it's always a bit scared, isn't it? Getting getting people round. I imagine they were scared. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> and were they excited to see you? Could they, I mean, they were, you know, could you tell that they were pretty pleased to see you? No, I don't think so, I mean... You know, you're Carl Pilkington. Yeah, but I, uh, the, the fellas sort of, I mean, they brought the whole family round, which was a bit odd. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not often they get the chance to, to visit a living freak. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, no, uh, they, were not, they were nice. They and you're nice. moving now. Yeah. He said he phoned me up today. You know, it was absolutely tipping it down. <laughs> he had to cycle in. Because <laughs> he said, because of the move, he doesn't want to leave his bike around there. <laughs> and he said, <laughs> he said, and uh, Suzanne, oh, I can't say this in case he's listening, can I? He won't know. Will uh, he? He, said, he said Suzanne's hired the oldest removal man in London. <laughs> you should hear him. <laughs> And the thing is, right, we ah. booked him, we booked him because everyone else happened to be booked out but this fella's free, right? <laughs> so he called up this morning, <laughs> I've never spoke to him but he was on the phone, he sounded about 90. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't think that he's gonna have to do all the work. <laughs> and, the, and the thing is, <coughs> right, we, well, it, it seems he to be cheap. He wanted some Werther Originals. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. listen, it seems to be cheap because it's £50 an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but how long is it gonna take him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so genius! When's the move on then? When's the end? Oh, well, he's coming round. He came round today to bring some empty boxes, and he was struggling with them. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it, it actually happens on Wednesday. Oh God! Anyway, oh. so um, I so noticed that you were laughing and almost had a heart attack. <laughs> doesn't bode well for the boxing match. I've got a cough at the moment, and I, I've had my limbs it. Oh, Jim, fancy that monkey news extra. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, uh another phrase. We've been talking about phrases today. Yeah, we have. Don't teach yeah. your granny when she's shaving. Yeah. Uh don't teach your granny to suck eggs. Yeah. Uh don't look horse in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> don't let the chin pass the jaw if you're chucking your cock in. <laughs> um familiar with the phrase monkey business? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never heard that one before, Carl. That's brilliant. Right, well, it came about, this has been emailed in and I haven't really had a chance to look at it, so I'm just weighing it up now. Um, <laughs> God. Yeah. yeah this yeah, is yeah, shambles yeah. on air, isn't it? Really? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm ashamed of it. Mm -hmm. it. I mean, 
What was Dr. Fox? Dr. Fox must have been really polite. He must have been thinking, I don't know how to put this. Mm. He, wa he, uh, he must have wanted to scream and go, you shouldn't be in the radio authority. My parents listen online, I can't look them in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think I've weighed it up. <laughs> um, long time ago, right? Yeah. In the, uh, Olden days, yeah. In Go the on. Amazon jungle. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Little family of monkeys in there. Mm-hmm. Right? Having a good life. Cool. Right? Didn't have any predators in there. Right? So, they were loving it. Yeah. They had a load of food around them, they had loads of banana trees. Yeah. Right? Mm, um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, they did. Sorry. I just, yeah. Everything's going great, so, they're happy in that. They go out of bed. <laughs> okay. Wake up in the morning, load of bananas gone. Ooh, hang on, interesting. Hold on, wait a minute. So, Amazon <laughs> Either your dad's been around, or... Is it- this isn't the great Amazon banana robbery, is it? So anyway, turns out, it was another load of monkeys from another part of the island. From the rough bit. <laughs> 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 from the rough bit! From the rough bit! I love it! They went, they went into a middle class area. Oh, oh they're the ones is... with the earrings and the leather jackets. <laughs> Brilliant! From a rough part of the island! <laughs> so, the monkeys thought, well there's no point getting into a fight with them because they're harder than we are. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, and they carry chains. So... <laughs> I love all this conjecture! They got flip knives and this tattoos. Yeah. Go on. So basically, they said, let's do some business with the bananas. Let's do some business with the bananas? <laughs> Let's do business right. with the bananas. Yeah. So, they said, well, rather than them coming robbing them, we'll, we'll flog them. <laughs> so, that got a stop to it then. The people, the monkeys came, they didn't have money. They said, give us some, mon you know, give us some bananas. Um, and it says, uh, So what, they exchanged bananas for bananas? For, for, for berries and nuts. <laughs> so that's where the phrase monkey business... No! No, it's ...comes from. Right. little business no. to set up. Right, there, oh God, that's the end of that as well. So that's the end. That is a shame. That's the end of Rockbusters and Monkey News. Well done. You've done it in one show. With <laughs> Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Well, Carl, you failed miserably. The scientists stuck away. Right, one more chance. What What's happened in the last couple of weeks? Just one more chance to. What have you seen in the last couple of weeks? Uh. Well, like I say, I don't, I don't really watch the news and that, so right. I can't uh, tell them about that. But in a way, I think they're better off not knowing. I think that's the only good thing about being out there, isn't it? Not knowing about the bad stuff going on. Yeah. So I can't help them there. They don't need to look at the weather, do they? No, don't even. No. But uh, I'll tell you about the Pope and that. Yeah, he's mm. pretty extensive. What about uh, the uh, the EU constitution and the uh, the no votes? What, so what do you make of that? Uh, what are your views? What, what's the problem there? Oh, this, this isn't- This no, isn't, better, better this isn't broadcasting though, is it? This is nothing. Come up with something, well, the talk! The fat baby then, the fat baby that they found, that was on the telly. Right, well, what was that? It's just a little fat baby. That, uh, uh, oh, for f I don't know what, it's just a, just a little fat kid and that. What? Tell what? It what was is on the telly. It was on the telly. And but that, what right? was on the telly? You just said fat baby, fat baby, fat baby, fat baby on telly, fat baby on telly. Do you meant to be telling them what's happened in the world? T well, tell me about the fat baby on telly. It's just they've found some. Uh, there's there's this illness called Momo, right? And uh, they've just got this. This woman had a kid. It's really sad. It was on Channel Four and that, right? And. Uh, Kids born. You sure it wasn't Jimmy Carr? Kids born and that, right? Momo. It's called Momo. Isn't that yeah. a Black Music Award? No, no, right. Little little fat baby and that, and uh, there's only three of them in the world. These little fat babies. Right. And uh, one so of them. They're in danger. How fat? Are you not telling? What do you mean? How fat are they? Six stone. It was. It was only two. And uh, there's there's three of them in the world, and there was this one, and there was one in Brazil. Are they like and, endangered? Uh, 
Is that the problem? Because <laughs> there's only three of them in the world. <laughs> oh, no, I'm yeah. worried. Is it like a conservation campaign? They're hunted for their flesh. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's sad. <laughs> if you I know. I don't see this. You should laugh, that, but, you, but if you've you seen it, you can go. It's a bit, bit sad than that. Um, well, I haven't seen it, and I know nothing about it. Well, I've told you, there's three of them in the world. I, d I st uh, okay, what else is on telly? Uh, the right. I'm committed to this treatment. Yeah. Is, is why oh, I'm I've got to go for that one. Yeah? Yeah. Or the other one is the police are causing a bit of a stare. <laughs> he still says it like it's the best thing he's ever come up with, which yeah. way it is. It could be. Right, go on in. I'm committed to this treatment. Right. Do you know the saying? Oh, is it just sayings now? Uh Are they all sayings? This no, week? no, 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 they're not. Okay. No, the other one isn't. Uh Frog in your throat? <laughs> the saying, there's a frog in your throat? Yeah. I assume it. it's uh, when you uh, croak a little bit. You sound right. like a uh, frog. No, no. Right. Might, might seem a bit weird, this one, right? But years ago- Oh, yeah. Um Sorry, well, what, what is that clue, committed to this treatment? It's about frogs, kermitted. Kermit. Ker <laughs> <laughs> it probably works better with a K and an yeah. ER written down. Well, also, if you'd pronounced it committed. Yeah. But uh, not committed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> committed to this treatment! <laughs> right, go on then. That's right, genius. Uh, so, yeah. Well, uh, what? You, get, you go to the doctors and you go and your throat's hurting a bit. Right. And what they did ages ago. Ages ago? What year was this approximately? We are going back quite a bit with this oh, one. Oh, okay. Go on. Um, and the doctor would say, <laughs> uh, <laughs> In history. Imagine years ago. Go on. Um, and the doctor would say, right, keep your, keep your mouth open and I need to look at your tonsils. And the jaw would ache a bit because because they weren't as quick back then because they didn't have the technology and stuff and they'd sure. have to like stare at it and study it and stuff. Mm. And like you get an achy jaw, right? Keeping their mouth open. Yeah. Like you get, you know, yeah. you jaw eat a Mars yeah. bar yeah. or yeah. whatever yeah. it's yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, So, um, they, they'd sat there and they used to always close the mouth and they, it used to annoy the doctor. Yeah. Right? Sure. So what they did, yeah. they used to get a toad. Right. And put it in the mouth. Rubbish. <laughs> okay. Keep, Rubbish. The, keep talking. Keep talking. And um, that way they couldn't close the mouth because either they'd squash it. Right. Or apparently you're not allowed to uh, lick a toad's back. <laughs> So the doctor would have them for breaking the law? No, 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 a boy's poisonous, right? A toad's back. You should never lick a toad's back. Or, or, or put it in your mouth, really. Oh, just, 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 just stop no, no, for a second. Wait, wait, wait. What, what? Sorry, can, can I just ask one question? Go on, yeah, just on. ask one question. I've got a few, but no, go on. I, I, sure. My initial thought is, it sounds like a brilliant bit of, of sort of medical uh, knowledge there. It's a great yeah. idea. Yeah. My only thought is, how does the doctor see past the toad? Yeah, at your tonsils? What's he actually looking at with the mouth open? Surely the toad is is Isn't in it the not way. Isn't around in the way? It, it didn't say. Well. Uh, sorry, and uh, my my question, my first question is: Was this on the internet? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, D Carl, that is bollocks. <laughs> that is, I mean, uh, <laughs> well, all right then. Let's turn this round. Where does the saying uh, "you got a frog in your throat" come uh, from? Probably because you sound a bit croaky. Probably that. <laughs> yeah. Probably because you sound a little bit like a frog when you've got <laughs> a sore throat. <laughs> Carl, did you not question it just for a moment when you read it? Just for a second, didn't you think, that seems an odd approach? Firstly, why a frog, of yeah. all the different because species- Because it's poisonous, it's poisonous. A toad- So a toad, so it's a toad right. as well. Yeah, well, that, it worked, I'm committed, worked- No, that, well, no, that, no, that, no, 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 I was gonna change it to, uh, have you heard the news, toad day? <laughs> <laughs> but I went with, I went with the frog. <laughs> Oh God! Right, so right. So, so that's rubbish. So that's rubbish. Next, um, <laughs> can I have? Um, <laughs> Let's play a tune. Let's come up with the last one. Oh. Oh, can Blank I just say? It? No, just play it. Just play it. Yeah. Yo, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> right in Turkey. Nice. Um, it's not actually. Mm -hmm. oh. That's where I went, and there was them little fellas after Suzanne in the kitchen. What? <laughs> what do you mean? We stayed in a. We went to Turkey. <laughs> You went to Turkey and there yeah. were some little fellas. Well, they had quite a few sort of midgets working in the kitchen. Why? Um, is, it, is it a theme? No, is it a theme just, holiday? Just, I don't know. Might get them cheaper or something. Was it? Were they? So <laughs> they, they were get working, them cheaper. They were working in the kitchen and one of them fancied Suzanne mm. and kept sort of eyeing her up, mm -hmm. and she was winding me up saying, oh- Not eyeing up and down, just eyeing her up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. No, so what anyway. was she doing in the kitchen? No, it's like a pick pick what you want to eat type buffy, but you have people clearing their tables and that ready for you to come along. Are they low tables? And, uh, 
and, you know, he was just keeping an eye on her. Well, what would he say, though? Was he- what was he- was he- it was Turkish, so I don't know what he was saying. But it was, was it was it was little um, fella, yeah. Did he talk what do you to mean it? a little fella? What do you mean little fella? Sort of dwarf like. <laughs> what do you mean dwarf like? He had magic powers or he was four foot. No, what do you mean, Carl? A little bloke, just a, a, a like a normal bloke but small. If you stood him in the desert, you wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> but he'd yeah, be hot and around him. Right. Carl, he should no, watch no, out for the monkeys. <laughs> Yeah, underground. There's underground what, monkeys. Look, look, you can't just say there was a little midget fella who was eyeing up my girlfriend and then leave it. What do you mean? Do, what What was happening? This is a story to us. This is much more interesting to us than and she was deaf, right? And she hit her head. That's much more. I don't understand how this ma how it manifested itself. Did he come over and say something? No. Do you know? You know when it's like girls know, don't they? When when some someone fancies them. What do you mean there was lots of them as well? Do then? they? That's worth knowing. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> right? Come on. Right. So you went into this. You went to this holiday, yeah. Yeah. Well, and you went into the, the what the dining room or something? Yeah. yeah downstairs. And you looked. Over you thought the this kitchen. is odd. There's no one serving. Yeah. And they go, <laughs> Wait oh, a minute. Hold on. You looked down and there was a little waiter. There was loads of them running around busy. <laughs> Why <laughs> though? Why? Because it was summer. What do you mean? Because <laughs> it was in summer. They had more they, of them. They on. come out in summer. They come out in summer. What do you mean they had more? What, what do you because mean? Because it's busy, isn't it? Well, no, they so they, in the why were they all midgets? I don't know. Maybe it doesn't heat stunt your growth or something. No. Uh, well, they just happened to. Maybe it was a thing that they did for tourists or something. I don't know. I just got on with my meal. It was a holiday. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> Go on. Right, so, so, so some midget serving. I'm not going to ask any questions. Right. Okay. Yeah. So they're, they're all little fellas running around, and <laughs> this one always was like, you know, oh, do you do you want a new serve yet? You know what I mean? Going out of his way oh, to sort of turning on oh, the yeah, charm. Yeah, yeah oh. he was going out of his way. The others weren't. Right. Um, I think what was happening is he'd been working with Santa all to winter. <laughs> yeah. Or sort of little summer break. This this one he was your waiter, and so he was being polite to you. Maybe. 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 But what did Suzanne say then? When to well, she was what using it to wind me up. What was she saying? Always oh, just like you know, look. Well, he may be small, but he's well built like a yeah. He's all man. So were you jealous of a midget then? You were jealous of it. It is a bit annoying, isn't it? Why? It wouldn't bother me as much now because I've been with her for ages. Right. But at the time, that might have been one of our first holidays, and it's like you, you don't know, want to be paid for, for this holiday. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then uh, you get off with a midget. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah, so anyway. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because you got chatted up by a bearded lady. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. What, yeah. I'll tell you what. No, that's got nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> what, what were you going to say? What were you going to say? I was, 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 was going to say the hotel was half bored and maybe. Oh, right. Yeah. I thought you were going to say it's just one of her shortcomings. <laughs> so listen, right? Play, play a record. Oh. Call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now it's time for White Van Man. White Van Man. Um, Just yes, for those, that, uh, those yeah. that don't buy the sun, they think it's beneath them. Um, <laughs> White Van Man is a column they have, I think, every day, actually, and uh, they just get sort of some, you know, Joe Public to kind of comment sure. on the week's news. Just seems to me, uh, you know, that it might be interesting to, uh, to get Carl's views yeah. on some of the big not, events. Not because not because we think that Carl hasn't got a valid sort of viewpoint. No. Because Carl sees the world differently to some people, that's all, and that's, that's what's interesting. You know, like an artist does, or a... Exactly, yeah. Or He's a, very bohemian in his outlook. Yeah. Do you, uh, do you feel that you're up to... Scratch on this week's news. I don't like this, but don't you? Don't just relax. Why not? It's pressure. No, no, no. Because you just have to give us your first opinion. For, for your honest answer. That's all we've ever asked of you, Carl. And it's all you've ever given us. Your honest, your first from the heart uh, view. Yeah. All don't right. worry. Just relax. Don't just chill out. Are you worried that people are listening and thinking you're an idiot? If my girlfriend's listening now, go and have a wash or something. Go and have a wash. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? <laughs> <laughs> is it the opposite of Napoleon and Josephine? <laughs> yeah, go on. Go on. No. If, if you're going to visit me again, Josephine, for Christ's sake, wash. Well, I'll ease yeah. you in with something fairly easy, um, a music-based question. Um, Kylie Minogue versus Dido as Queen of the Brits. What's your view there? Um, <laughs> go and have a wash. It doesn't really matter, does it? Um, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. What doesn't really matter? <laughs> with the Brits. I was watching it the other night, and um, I think Kylie... <laughs> Will be a good looking old woman. Do you know? Do you ever do oh, that sort of I want to, Steve, I want to celebrate with you. Every time he opens his mouth, like that. I want us to open a bottle of champagne. I know what you mean. Do you know um, what I mean? It's yeah. like we did that. Yes. No, do you, do you ever do that though? Look at people. And another person who springs to mind, Jenny Powell. I, <laughs> I don't think she's that good looking now. Who's Jenny Powell? Is she that girl that used to be the, si the assistant on Wheel of Fortune? Yeah. Yeah, Leslie? yeah, I think she's a bit over the top for a young woman. But when right. she gets older, I think she'll look Be a nice. bit of a stunner. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, for you, Chloe, you know, whereas you don't feel that about Dido, is that right? She's alright, she's normal. 
I prefer Kylie's sister to Kylie. She okay. looks, you know, she, I can imagine her being at hard work to live with. and Who, Kylie? Not right. doing washing up and that. And right, sure. Being a bit <laughs> right, <go> next okay. <laughs> and what do you make of uh, taxes rising in the next budget to pay for NHS improvements? Well, my dad went to hospital to have an operation once. Yeah. So I feel like it's worth paying it because I've, yeah. I've got some. Because pe people might go to have to go to hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it makes a change when it's someone in your family, doesn't it? Yeah. Because you sort of realise. Yeah, a change is as good as a rest. And the weird thing is, if you want for me dad. I wouldn't be here doing this show because when he was in hospital. Well, no, I'll stop you there. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, that, that's <laughs> all you need to know. You, you wouldn't be here, true. But no, but well, no, no, because this was after I was born, so I would be here. <laughs> but well, so for his more direct involvement was what? Yeah, because when when my mum was seeing my dad in yeah. the hospital, I got a bit bored. <laughs> went for a wander, found the hospital radio station. Yeah. And got a gig. Really? So in in a, in a real sense, if it wasn't for Carl's dad, Carl wouldn't be. Here. And did your dad, like, while he was listening to you, did he, like, sort of tap the nurse and go, can you get that twat off the air? <laughs> <laughs> Who's put him in that hat? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, um, what do you make of the real-life Mowgli who's surviving in a Transylvanian countryside? Apparently, I don't know much about this story. I don't know you, what, you know Mowgli, he, he's, he's the guy from the Jungle one, Book. Yeah. The little kid that grew up, um, with bears and animals and stuff. Apparently there's a real-life one in Transylvania. What, what were the things in Gremlins? <laughs> what were the what? Like in Gremlins, they wait, 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 wait. Okay, this is an example. This is what your girlfriend said. Think, what were the things in Gremlins called? I can't remember. Just, I mean, it's really. Something like that, isn't it? No, no, wait, 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 wait. Just really, really think now, Carl. Just with all, with everything you've ever, with all the brain power you've ever used, think what the things in Gremlins were called. It's not there. There's a clue here. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. They're not. What? Gremlins. Yeah. Play a record, Carl. <laughs> the streets, let's push things forward on XFM 104.9, the home of charity. <laughs> That's true enough. Yeah. I I've got to slow down because I'm a doing a little bit too much for charity. I've got to. I've got to worry about myself sooner or later. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No, come on. We were halfway through uh, White Van Man. We were indeed, yes. Those, those, um, those lads came in. Getting Carl's views on some of the big stories of the week yeah. from the news. Um, Carl, what do you make of the fact that the British Olympic curling team won a gold medal? I watched it. Uh huh. I thought it was really good. Um, <laughs> the only thing that's getting on my nerves now is like. What was that? Is that a trombone player <laughs> just sneaked in? That was me moving this microphone. Right. That was incredible, wasn't it? Yeah. What an right. amazing um, noise. The only thing is... <laughs> that shouldn't sound like that, should it? That's incredible. What a shoddy tin pot station this is. Well, we know that. Sorry, Carl. Go on. It's like, in all the papers now, in, in like the, the, you know, the Star and the Sun all week, they've been like traipsing models over a bit of granite. Do you know like how those things are made out of granite? The, um, the things they throw. Oh, yeah. And it just that that bit annoys me. Okay. The what, way that the Daily Star. <laughs> no, the way that you know this sport, nobody had ever sort of heard of it a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. Sure. We win a gold ma medal. Yeah. And now in the papers, it's like they've gone crazy. They've gone they've curling mad. It. Yeah. It's a good game now. Yeah. Good. Okay. Next. All right. Good. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, what about the fact that the world's tallest man is living in a semi in Neasden? Uh, it's all right, Nick. Um, something that someone told me in the week is that, do you know all these tall people like this guy? Yeah. Which is a bit weird they've only just found him considering he's the tallest man. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a bit weird. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> someone, <laughs> oh, someone genius. told me that, um, uh, do you know the guy who was in James Bond, the big bloke? Yes. Jaws. Jaws. He's got the same illness as this bloke. Right. And what it is. It's called it's, tall. It's something about. You're suffering from tall. You've got a. A small tumour or something, just behind this part of your head. Yes. Oh yeah. Just, just sort of in in the middle of your eyes. Yeah. And, and the pressure on that makes you grow really tall or something. Yeah. So he needs to get it sorted. <laughs> That's your advice to him. Yeah. Get it sorted. Okay. Very finally, uh, Carl. This is important. This is um, just projecting <laughs> into the future. Get it sorted. Just projecting into the future now, came man. <laughs> Apparently, global warming yeah. will bring sizzling summers and weird wildlife. To Great Britain in the future. Are you worried about that? Um, how soon? 
soon enough for you to worry. Yeah, it's pretty worrying. Okay. Um, you don't. You wouldn't prefer it to be sunny here all the time. No, because with hot weather comes weird spiders and that. See, I always think we're quite lucky here. Yeah. If you live in Australia, you might have the sun and stuff, but you've got like deadly snakes. Yes. Yeah. Which are deaf. Did you know snakes are deaf? Snakes are deaf. They don't have ears. Okay. Um, so you're all right walking about behind them. Yep. But, but if they see you ahead of you, you're, you're, you're in trouble. But yeah, with, with places like Australia, you know, people go, oh, it's great, it's sunny, but they don't talk about the spiders and they keep the spiders lizards yeah, and stuff. Quite. So I think we've got a bit of the both the best worlds. So you're worried though about in the future, there may be vultures flying through the sky, we've got various creepy crawly snakes. You concerned yeah. about that? Yeah, well there's a load, I saw something in the news in the week that a load of sparrows or something was somewhere. Maybe that's the start of it. <laughs> that's an interesting story. <laughs> no. Was that from Pedro? <laughs> <laughs> There's a load of sparrows somewhere. No, <laughs> Read all about it. Sparrows somewhere. Some sparrows somewhere. Sparrows somewhere. <laughs> load of sparrows somewhere. No. Sparrows somewhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go, anyway. Excellent. That's Thank great. You very that's, much, uh, Carl. That's, uh, that's Carl um, giving his views on the news. Don't do that next week. <laughs> Why not? I just, I just don't like it. Why? It's pressure. It's not pressure, you did brilliantly. Yeah. Well, um, he was talking to me the other day because I'm, I'm trying to write a show called Science and he's sort of uh, going to help me out with some of the research and I want to, I want him to do something on the DVD for it, right? And uh, he um, was talking about it and uh, he was talking about, um, he says that in the future they reckon we'll be able to, soon he said, they'll be able to take us into space and it's going to cost us £150,000. said, what's the point? There's nothing up there. He said, the, when they went up there, right, he said, when Louis Armstrong went <laughs> in 1966, <laughs> right, he said, it was nothing there. So there was him, a fella called Buzz, there was one and third bloke that didn't even get out of the spaceship. He said he went all that way, he didn't get out to stretch his legs. How good can it be? Forget it. That's him summing up yeah. Space don't exploration. Don't, 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 don't you agree with that? What, what's the point in going up there? Because you're expanding- Are we talking about the finger in the arse again here? Or is space? No, what, what is the point in going Because you're expanding, you know, human endeavour, aren't you? And the human uh, understanding of the world and the universe. It's like, what else are we going to do as a civilization, as a, as a people, if we're not constantly searching and, you know, and, and reaching out into the far distance? But there's nothing there, though. I know some people you grew up with that haven't left their street. But that, that's not everyone. But what is it? What do you mean there's nothing there? That, what, what, what has got to be there for it to be a worthwhile life? Just something. What, I mean, like, to be honest, what I would you be I happy with finding out on the moon? video? Just, just, just something. I don't think they looked hard enough anyway when they got there, because <laughs> they seemed to get out, have a bit of a dance about, and then they came straight back. And I sort of think, you know, did they look properly? It's not a day trip, is it? But, what, what I mean but they took is, that car out there, didn't they, and drove around a bit? Yeah, but only a little bit. What I mean is, say if an alien landed in, in Africa, there's not much there, so they'd go, What yeah, do you mean there's not much there? Well, it's a bit barren, isn't it? Well, Africa, just in general. Well, so anywhere the, the, like that, the, desert or whatever, what I'm saying is, it's got, have a good look round. Probably the, uh, where all life came from, and uh, uh, probably half a million yeah, species of I, animals live there. buildings and that, and stuff. Oh, so, buildings. Well, just stuff. Yeah. I mean, did they look properly? Or did they just land, get out, go, oh, bit dusty or whatever, right, let's go back. I just think it's a bit pointless, especially sure. when we haven't done everything there is to do here. I Go mean, on. Well, I, I don't know, but I'm sure there is stuff <laughs> that needs sorting out. Well, there's, I know the place that there's, there's no medical man has been <laughs> in this room. Yeah. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's definitely an unexplored uh, cavern. <laughs> right in front. Right. All right, Steve. Would you go to the moon if someone said there's a space? He doesn't march at a concert because he's scared his glasses to fall off. Of course he wouldn't go to the moon. That They'd spin him round in training, his glasses would come off, and that'd be it. He'd, yep. he'd feel sick. But my worry is I'm not sure I'd get- I'd have to- because I- would I be able to wear him under the helmet? <laughs> Imagine him! Like, I went- I went paintballing once, and I had to wear the glasses <laughs> underneath the mask, and of course it was a bit hot weather, it was awful- all, it was steamed up in there. Still, I couldn't see anything, I got shot straight away, I was out of the game, it was pointless. <laughs> you know, it cost me like eight quid. Yeah. You don't have to be that fit anyway, do you? You're only sort of sat there. Well, not uh, well. Yeah, but what what are you talking about? Think of G force alone and weightlessness. Of course, you've got to be what? Yeah. I what? think when you said think of G force, he thought of G four. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> follow up winners in Pop Idol. I could see it as his as his eyes glazed. Over. <laughs> oh, Jim, that has gone and written it down. The little. 
the jingle that signifies another reading from Carl Pilkington's diary, got up and put the radio on. I listened to the story that the vicar read on Radio 2. Yeah, that could be good. He was saying how Jesus was 33 when he, when he died. He said he was more into the idea of doing a lot in your life than living for ages. This was linked to the news about the doctor who's come up with some stuff that he's been injecting himself and his wife with that makes you age better. I looked it up on the internet. It wasn't worth them doing it because they are already old looking. I don't know why people want to stay looking young. You can wear a bald head better if you're old because hairs are replaced by wrinkles. It's drivel. No, it's, it's not drivel. A pointless, it's just... a pointless entry to a diary, that. It's not because that could be a, 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 like an important bit in like world history. What? The fact that... That people, that someone's trying to make people not age. Age is good, isn't it? When you see an old person. It's been going forever. What has? People trying to age better. No, but he's talking about if you're 90, he wants people to look like they're 30. And that's not good because how, how would the world run when that's going on? Well, I agree. But you know, it's, when again, people, it's not a revelation. If I, if, if I like chatting to old people because they know a lot of stuff. So if I'm sat on a train and someone's old, I'm happier talking to them about... They get up and move after about ten minutes. Well, no, you know, the fact they, that many of them are in firm and can. <laughs> yeah, they, they have to stay there and listen to this but, one. But yeah, even that, even that means that they're getting more out of life in a way because they don't move about as much, so they have more thinking time. It is weird how that happens to you as you get closer to death. Jesus. You know, you're not working as much because you're resting and you can think back about your life and you can think, oh, I had a good one. Actually, it's not been that bad. Whereas if... But you must have started that now. Because you've been doing nothing for the past three months. Yeah, but I'm just, well, like I'm saying, it is a good thing for you to do to sort of think about what you've been doing with your days and your weeks. And, and how stuff. do you assess your life so far? With all this spare time you've had on your hands and moping around and moaning about your illness and just sitting around, right? Uh, you've been uh, introspecting, have you? Yeah. Go on then. What have you come up with? I haven't come up with anything. I'm just, uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm just, you know, I have, I have an all right life and things are changing. Oh. <sighs> Keep saying that. No, but the, but you don't know how much they are changing to the point of I don't know if I mentioned the squirrel eating Mars bars, but from that <laughs> from 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 that happening to monkeys opening bottles with lids on them, to it's just it's it's mental out there. It's madness what is going on, and all I'm saying is old people need to be old people. You need oldness. You need to see old people. You need to go right. They might have a solution. They've been on the earth longer. Quick, we need an answer. How old are you? I'm 32. Well, you look 78. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying! I don't know who that conversation was with, why you got angry, and I think you made the opposite point that you were making yeah. at the beginning. If you, you're, you're 32, you look 78. No, you were saying about it would be a problem if you were 78 and looked 32. Well, I don't know what you're saying. You came down the wrong side then. Either. You did that whole thing and you bollocksed it up again in your brain. I'm just saying, either way, you need to have people who look old. Otherwise, who's in charge? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Right. So you say, even if, so you're saying it'd be alright to make 78 year olds look 32 as long as there were some 32 year olds that look 78, as long as you've got old looking people. No, but say Can like, I tear this page out? Because <laughs> it's worthless. What I mean is, when I went to the doctors, oh. I saw the specialist, right, mm. about the kidney stones. I was, I was asking him all the straight questions. Go on. Is it life threatening? No. Uh, you know, how long am I going to be out? Couple all the rest of, days. of it. Right? Now, he As it was, turned out, it is life-threatening, and you've been out for three months whinging about the fucking thing. Strange. Now, he was quite old. He looked about <sighs> 55. And that reassured me, in a way. In a way, it didn't, because he's, he, he's one of them doctors who didn't open his eyes much, and I kind of thought, I hope you I open I don't know what wider. you're talking about. What do you mean? What? What do you mean he didn't open his eyes much? One of those sort of doctors who's either that overworked, that is, he, he does that, you know, when he's like, he's tired, so he's going, right, what we're going to do is, and he's doing that with his eyes shut, he's talking well, this is, like that. this is radio. I know, but I'm telling you, so you can see. But the people are meant to be listening to this. But if they can't imagine me with my eyes shut. Well, tell them you got your eyes shut. Just right, say yeah. he had his eyes shut. Yeah, he had his eyes shut. Oh, had he been reading this? <laughs> <laughs> Bored stupid, I imagine. He's just trying to get a... Oh. Well, do, do you know what I mean? I, or, I don't know if it's because he's tired or if he's that educated that some people know so much you don't even have to look at it. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about! Intelligent people! Who is so educated that they don't need to open their eyes? Well, you see it, you see <laughs> like... <laughs> who's that bloke of those? Is he blind? No, he's been reading too much. <laughs>
He no. doesn't open his eyes anymore, doesn't no. he? No. Old, old people who you see wearing tweed and what have you, and they're really posh and they talk, and whenever they talk, their eyes are shut. And they I open. don't know what this observation is. I don't understand why you've never seen that. I've never seen an old, educated man wearing tweed who doesn't bother opening his fucking eyes. Steve, I don't you? know what you're talking about. But Steve, have you seen... Do you know what I mean? When people don't sort of open their eyes when they're like talking to you, and it can be quite annoying, because it's like they're saying... I'm not interested about you sat there. I'm not bothered if you're listening. I'm saying what I'm saying because I say what I say. And but it can be quite if he, if he has got his eyes closed, he's probably just trying to absorb what you're saying and, and think carefully yeah, about probably. it so anyway, he doesn't misdiagnose I'm not, you. I'm not having a go at him. Well, I'm like just what? saying he was 50-odd and I was happy that he was there telling me... <laughs> I don't know why you were watching his eyes when he was telling you about your insides. Because you can tell a lot by people's eyes. That's what I said about jellyfish. But, you know, just lines in a face tell a few stories, and I don't think we should get rid of them lines. Brilliant. Wise words. <laughs> I was, do you know how I've been to my mum and dad's? Right? I was yeah. talking to my mum about stuff. Oh, right. And she was saying how, um, this flower, uh, solved a crime. What yeah. happened was, there was a murder, yeah. right, in an office. So, they said it's obvious that someone who works in the office did this murder because that person's only a sort of a typist. He has, you know, they've done nothing wrong. So, they said that's narrowed it down, right? So, this flower man came in and he said, I can sort this out for you. Mm. So, they said, what do you mean? He said, well, during the murder, the plant was knocked off the cabinet. Yeah, right. right. Um... And he had some special wires that he can put on special the flower. Special wires, yeah. On the flower, and it's sort of shaking and stuff. Because it, even though you can't see it, flowers pick up bad vibes and what have you. If you shake a plant, it doesn't like it. <laughs> okay. Right? So what happened was, uh, he said, right, what we'll do, we'll put the plant back on the shelf. Yep. We'll water it, we'll calm it down. <laughs> then get- <laughs> You've got a nice cup of tea. Then get every then, member of staff- Right. To right. come in the room- Yeah. And just- Go near the flower. Right. So don't tell them. So like a lineup for the flower. Kind yeah. of. Kind of like a lineup. Yeah, but sure. don't tell them what we're doing. Just send them yeah. in and say, stand by that cabinet where yeah. the murder happened and what have you. Yeah. Anyway, it was a long day. They were getting through a lot of stuff. It was a big office block. Yeah. yeah. Um, they were going, this isn't working. You know, the flower's not budging. Mm. Suddenly, they get into like the last part of the day when they were almost giving up. They call in a sketch artist. The, pla the plant gives them a. Some, some caretaker fella. Uh -huh. um, caretaker, yeah. Said, go over there. Was it, you know, was it an old it, man that, I mean, cause Scooby Doo didn't like him from the beginning. <laughs> no. So, uh, you know, uh, is that, that, why is that janitor so evil? The, they send the caretaker over to the plant, he's going, you know, he's thinking I've got away with this. Of course. Mm. Plant starts shaking, what have you. They did him. Okay, <laughs> wait a minute then. So, was there any other evidence? <laughs> Uh, was that the only evidence they used in the trial? Well, no, it's one of them things, though. Imagine it, if you're that caretaker and you're thinking, I've got away with this, then suddenly a plant grasses you up. You weren't expecting that. So suddenly you're <laughs> off guard. And you go, you go, okay, 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 can't get that chrysanthemum away from me, I did it. You're talking absolute bollocks. That was one of the most <laughs> nonsense pieces of shit I've ever heard but in I my know, life. Listen, well, it happened, but... It didn't happen. Said it. Um, yeah, I... <sighs> I sort of feel like, you know, one thing we've never done, Rick, is we've never pandered to people, but as it's the last show, um, we've got to give the audience what they want. What, what's this? Well, yeah, and I was gonna say things they don't want as well. <laughs> and, uh, um, you know, and, well, just basically to keep a smile on Carl's face. Yeah. Uh, I say a smile, a sort of, not quite a scowl. Yeah, he never really smiles. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just brilliant really as a chance for him to have a go. It's like, you know, you, you indulge a, an annoying child. The only time Carl laughs is for no apparent reason. Yeah. What well, do you think, like- What do you mean? Well, it seems like you go, <laughs> and I know you'll be thinking of what a monkey could do. Yeah, it's like it's like people who've had electro shock therapy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, imagine tied down, biting on exactly, something, yeah. biting on a big leather pad. Uh, let me just tell you briefly what the, the prizes are. It's <laughs> that, the number. That looks of... like a piece of shit. You know, <laughs> well, let me box. tell you, mate. Let what me tell it? you. There's a number of uh, there's a number but, of mediocre CDs and DVDs. That, that is real. But tight, mainly, what, what about this? It's the Lord of the Rings collector's edition. Oh. What the movies you're thinking? No, it's no. the Radio Four adaptation. It's uh, it's only 14 hours long, Rick. <laughs> oh, that is. Throw that away. <laughs> so, pop that in the bin. <laughs> so, that's that is <laughs> just I'll pop it. Either pop it in the bin or send it to some poor bastard who wins this quiz. <laughs> exactly. If you're willing to take part in the quiz, you deserve. Uh, Forty hours, you'd be like yeah. wasted with that uh, Tolkien tripe. <laughs> <laughs> so right, yeah. What are the clues then, uh, Carl? Right, as always, just you know, cryptic clues. Yeah. That initials of a band or an artist. Yeah. Work it out. Yeah. Win the win the stuff. Yeah. Um, Email only. 
Yeah, Ricky Dot Gervais, xfm.co.uk. First clue is as follows. Um, <laughs> the, the Jamaican fella wrote a review for. <laughs> 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 it's, it's the girl Jamaican He's fella. Back. The oh, Jamaican fella. It's the last show the little Jamaican fella's made an appearance. <laughs> this uh, normally suggests that you need to think of the answer in a Jamaican accent. Yeah. Or not. Yeah, or not. Yeah, any accent. Say, go on. Or an accent. <laughs> or pronounce the word slightly differently. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, go on. The Jamaican fella wrote a review for Phoenix Knights. Alright. Yeah. DC is on the initials. DC? D for yeah. Derek? Yeah. Okay. DC. The Jamaican fella wrote a review for Phoenix Knights. That's the first one. Um, second one. It's three of them. Second one is, uh, we should all vote for Paul Daniels, David Blaine, Copperfield, The Great Soprendo, Tommy Cooper, and Darren Brown. We should all vote for them. Why is that? What was... <laughs> I've just got the first one. E. S. Yes. Right. E S. Okay. And the last one, um, Steve. What did your dad do? Yeah. Steve, what did my dad do? What did your dad do? Is that the question, or are you asking me? Well, uh, Ricky, what did your dad do? You can work on anyone. What right. did your dad do? Right. Right. That's E. Right. What so, did your dad do? Quickly again, the Jamaican fella wrote a review for Phoenix Knights. Right. D C. <laughs> Second one, we should all vote for Paul Daniels, David Blaine, yeah, yeah, Copperfield, yeah, Greater Brand. No, but that's important, right? <laughs> <laughs> e S, and the last one, you know, Steve, what did your dad do? Right? Okay. The initial E. Ricky so. dot Gervais at xfm.co.uk. We don't want to speak to you, please don't phone up. Remember, you could win some Lord of the Rings tripe. Alright. There's no more on XFM. All right. All right. All right. Last Rockbusters ever, thank <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's right. disappointing. Go anyway, on. Rockbusters, right? Uh, right. First clue was uh, Jamaican fella wrote a review for Phoenix Knights. Yeah. Right, that was the cryptic clue. The initials were DC. Yeah. What is it? Come on, now you tell me. It's uh, it's Define Comedy. All right. Define Comedy. It's a Divine Comedy. All right. What so, is that? <laughs> That's well, a Jamaican. Do the accent again. Do the accent again. Oh, it's just divine comedy. Uh, it's, it's, why yeah, why are you talking? Long. Hey, hey. That's, that's, that's just again, the, no, again, do it again. You've got the answer. It doesn't matter. Let's move on. Right. <laughs> Second one. We should all vote for Paul Daniels, David Blaine, Copperfield, Great Soprendo, Tommy Cooper, and Darren Brown. Why is that? E S were the initials. Go on. Elec Trick Six. Right. What? Elec Trick Six. It works. So don't say it like that. <laughs> what? I, don't, I, don't, what I don't know what it means. Right. Well, there's six people there who do tricks and that. Right, I'm saying we should vote for them, so you elect them. Yeah, but he said elect. 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 Trick six. No, elect though. Elect. No, elect's not a word, is it? And the last one. Uh, really, elect's a word. Elect. Steve. You don't mean Alec, do you? It's not Alec Park. You're not trying to do Alec Park. The one. Third one. Steve, what did your dad do? I don't know. That was E. Could work for anyone. It didn't have to be Steve, right? That was Erasure. Right? Erasure. He he it it. No, it doesn't work either. It doesn't Kinda work does either. Work. No, does it doesn't work. work. Doesn't work. Who's the winner? None of them work. None well. of them work. Another pile of crap <laughs> from the you. for the mind of little <laughs> stupid. On, oh, I'm gonna give the prizes to. Don't be little. Oh. I'm gonna give the prizes to Martin Williams from oh. Flintshire. I don't know where Flintshire is. Uh, he says that he's uh, promised to listen to the Lord of the Rings, <laughs> and by listen he means sell them on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, oh, um, thanks for coming in. Stupid. The end of Rockbusters from the stupid little shitty brain. I'm going to say it of Pilkington. It's Pleasant Valley Sunday. Brilliant. XFM 104.9. Carl Pilkington. This show is Pilkington. monkey heavy, it isn't is it? Indeed. It is monkey heavy. Carl, if you were president, would you sort of make compulsory to maybe have a little little monkey? Everyone has a little monkey of their own. Little chimps out and out. Old age pensioners. It's not a bad little, uh... It's funny, you know, cos there was, um, <laughs> a story the other day, uh, when I was looking for monkey news, right? <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah. There's a story about a couple who, who couldn't have any kids, right? There's something wrong with them, but they really wanted a kid, and they got some, uh, dodgy email address where they could buy a baby online, oh, right? Wow. It was someone who would have a kid, and you could buy it for three grand or something, right? Yeah. So anyway, they got one, they got picked, and they're like, brilliant, there's the money. Got the baby and everything, they were loving it. Um, you know, playing with it and stuff. As it got older... Feeding it. <laughs> it got airier. 
<laughs> oh, shut the f- oh, car! Turned out it had been sold a chimp. <laughs> you, you maniac, you stupid mank twat. How Don't talk shit. That is as if that- <laughs> Uh, uh, what? I didn't know it was- Oh, don't talk! <laughs> are you- are you mental? <laughs> you I love the fact stupid. that that didn't make it into Monkey News. I know, yeah. Uh, they- well, that's a bit sad though, we don't like to bring- They bring bought- the feature down. <laughs> yeah. But and anyway. how long was this into- uh, It got hairier! They're born hairy! <laughs> no, they're they're not born like humans then develop hair! Cause they go, hold on, we better ch- we better get the chimp stuff kicking in now, cause we're in the jungle! School photograph, do I like, hang on a minute. <laughs> It looks a bit weird. <laughs> oh, kids. you are just the, mad, the, the rubbish. Mad, isn't it? Mad, isn't it? <laughs> mad, isn't it? Imagine, oh, God. But just anyway. imagine if he was in charge. We did put him in charge of the country. Okay, monkey news. Do you want a bit? Yes, please. Play jingle. the jingle. This rash is weird. Oh, chimpanzee that. Monkey news. Right. Uh, right, they were filming a... A documentary, right? This telly company. Yeah. Doing a documentary. Who? Which one? Which one? Which I one? I don't know. No? Right. What was the documentary about? About monkeys. Yeah. Uh, where was it? Where Africa. was it? Africa. Right. Where, when was this? I haven't got a date. <laughs> okay. Recently, though, since the advent of television, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, a bit of extra monkey news if you, <laughs> if you want it. Okay, always. Do you know the, um... Monkey news extra. Go on. Do you know the Halford's ads? Halfords ads. I don't think so. No, what happens? Halfords. They've, they've, uh, you know, they sell nuts and bolts and stuff. Right. Uh, they were using monkeys in the ads. Okay. Um. Yeah. And what yeah. happened? Pack it. Don't they sell bikes, Halfords? Well, mainly. <laughs> <laughs> Bicycles and, and motorbike stuff in that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, yeah, so they're using monkeys in the ad, what happened? <laughs> I can't handle it. What? I can't do this. Look what? at what? him. Look at him. <laughs> I don't care what he's doing. And it, well, basically, right, they've, uh, they, uh, there was a load of asshole because they were using these monkeys in this Alphard advert. Yes. Right. And what happened? <laughs> Get to the point. It turned out there wasn't a problem because they were mechanics in the first place. Well, they were monkey mechanics. Yeah. What are you talking about? Mental. What are you talking about? That's not a story. Well, anyway, listen, let's get, let's get back on <laughs> They were mechanics in the first place. <laughs> Right, listen. Right, so they're making this documentary. Right? And, uh, they stumble across a, a little gang of, uh, little gang. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Just... Get on with it, please. Little, little gang of monkeys. That's yes. the first time I've ever laughed, I'll hear that. I know! Well, brilliant. What do you want, a cake? <laughs> Come on! Can we play a song? Oh. I don't understand what is wrong with you, you freak. It's making me laugh. <laughs> Just tell us the story! Alright then, alright. <clears throat> so anyway, right, so there's this, this documentary being made, they found a little gang of monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> right, play a song, I don't know what's going on here, I apologise. Got a hide your love away. According to the Beatles, on XFM 104.9, I'm looking to with me, Steve Merchant. Right, Carl, come right, on, where, monkey where news. We? Where Everyone's composed, the jingle, please. Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news! <laughs> excellent. Okay. Right. Right, where were we? We were just start again. There's some people making a documentary. <laughs> for what? Okay, for making a documentary in uh, in the jungle and that. Right. Stumble across a little gang. <laughs> okay, okay, come on. All right. Um, a little gang of monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on. So the camera crew are there filming it. Yes. Everything's going normal. It's nothing, all nothing yeah. odd about it. Okay. <laughs> they don't- they're not running a restaurant, they've not got any barber shops, nothing. No. Just regular monkeys going about their business, yeah. So anyway, uh, mm. the- th what- what normally happens is the monkeys st stick with the partner. What did you want? They- they don't sort of sleep around in that. Once they find oh, right, the- once they monkeys. find the girlfriend or the boyfriend or whatever, yeah. they stick- they stick with them, right? Okay. But anyway, they were watching this one, right? And, uh, it's- it's going around a bit, sleeping around. Oily. And it was getting fatter. <laughs> they thought this is a bit odd. Yeah. Right? So, uh, followed it round. <laughs> and, uh, see it having it away. Turns out, little prostitute. Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, God! It's a little monkey prostitute. And it was getting fatter because it was charging them bananas. <laughs> 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 what a 
was a load of old rubbish. It's charging them bananas. <laughs> what was it? A boy or it was a woman? A little woman monkey. <laughs> That's the most extraordinary monkey news I've ever heard. Oh! That is genius! Has this documentary been televised? Uh, I don't think it's been on yet. No. no and that's all the information you've got? <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And is that- that's, um, that's one banana for everything? The half a banana is for- Just oral. Uh, a poor job. Right. Um, if you want full-blown, uh, monkey sex, <laughs> it is two and a half bananas. Sure. Sure. So, uh, Let's just play a song. Okay. <laughs> Let's just play All right, well, this is our penultimate show, which we'll be back next week. We're gonna make it a barnstormer, I'm sure, lads. I want 100% behind it, 110% next week. All right, none of this giggling, none of this infantile giggling, like okay. two schoolboys. Right. All right, we're gonna come back, we're gonna have some quality monkey news next week, we're gonna have all kinds of treats, I would think. Okay. Some great prizes. All right? Are yeah. we okay? Yeah, we best show. Let's make next week the best show ever. Good luck. If you miss it, then you miss out. We're ending with a track from a couple of years back, I think it was 92, 93, uh, Dinosaur Junior, Start Chopping. Play that. Start playing. Forget Start Chopping, start playing. Alright. Alright. See you next week. Yeah. <laughs> what would you do? I've always wanted to kick a duck up the arse. <laughs> <laughs>